There is Louis Saha, cup tied then today. He scored on his return to Loftus Road last week against his former club. But having to sit out this match this afternoon. Fulham have never won the FA Cup, but they did make it to the final back in 1975 when West Ham got the better of them at Wembley. Since then, well, until recently, they've had only limited success, really, in this famous old competition. Although a couple of seasons ago, you'll remember they were semi-finalists, went going out to Chelsea through a John Terry goal. Well, they'll have arrived, though, at Old Trafford in good heart today. Excellent progress under the Premiership's youngest manager. Has earned them plenty of plaudits this season. And, of course, their league win here back in October will be a major source of encouragement to them. Here is Steve Keane, then, who is taking on the reins. He's been in con constant touch with Chris Coleman throughout the week. I gather the manager himself is keeping in touch via the telephone, watching the game from his hospital bed. Will United have another off day? Well, they've had one or two of them lately. Fulham won't be short on spirit. And shortcomings at the back for United in the absence of Rio Ferdinand have certainly offered plenty of incentive to recent opponents seeking a way to counter the reigning league champions' outstanding individuals. Rob Stiles is today's referee. Fulham did really well to hold United in London a week ago, but in general haven't quite lately matched their sharpness of the early weeks of the season. They have fallen back in... <laughs> and also needed a couple of matches to overcome... ...before clinching their place in this FA Cup quarter-final. A little too soon then, Rob Styles. <laughs> In his last two games. international those two goals I mentioned there included one last week in the 1-1 draw with United after Sahar had struck so early on for the Reds here's Roy Keane now scores aiming for Ronaldo now Phil Neville right back today having played so effectively in midfield for most of the season Here's Neville again, replacing brother Gary, who's serving a four-match ban. He was sent off, of course, in the last round against Manchester City. Edwin van der Sar, who's had a splendid season in goal. Ronaldo, linking with Giggs. And that's a trip, surely, on Nick. By Sean Davis. It promises to be a really combative battle there in the centre of midfield the likes of Barton Davis and Clark and Scholes 
Ryan Giggs, who I'm sure will have license to drift. And of course, has taken on a senior role with set pieces since the departure of David Beckham. That's Fletcher there with him. That needs to Roy among those waiting in the middle. Keane's gone up as well. Finally, it's Ryan Giggs. And O'Shea struggling to keep the ball alive. It will be a goal kick. O'Shea has looked a little uncomfortable in recent weeks. But then as a unit, they really have struggled defensively, United. Louis Saha already has proved a wonderful signing for United. He's made an immediate impact as he underlined last week at Loftus Road. And by Legwitzki, one of the French players at Fulham. We do send our best wishes to Chris Coleman, who has been under the weather, suffering from a mystery virus that's laid him low. He's been very poorly, but is hoping now for the perfect tonic today. A full-up victory or even survival in this Old Trafford cauldron. It won't be easy, that's for sure. United really fired up after recent criticism. But initially, now it's Giggs floating out to that far side. Back comes Legwinski. Then Moritz Volz, the young German, who set that really well at Fulham at right back. Wes McBride will be hoping then to cause some problems in the air for Wes Brown. And he has looked rather fallible in those kind of situations in recent weeks since regaining his place after a long term injury, Wes Brown. You do have to bear that in mind and give him time, really, to re-acclimatise. That certainly is the manager's view. Up by Davis. Now Volts. This is Steve Malbronk. Being policed rather heavily by O'Shea, but away from him and from Nicky Barr as well. At least he would have been. But for the outstretched leg of the England international. It can be a real source of irritation, Malbrock, to United today with his ability on the ball. And they've made a fairly assured start to this game, have Fulham. This is young Adam Green, only 20. That's far too long, though. No Bopper Negro through suspension, the American. So Bonnie Sell is out injured, the French defender. So Adam Green getting a call up. He played last week against United and has caught the eye certainly on the few occasions he's played for Fulham so far this season. Here's that Nista Roy back in the firing line, having been left out last week. Then he came on as a late sub. He didn't go along with the manager's opinion that he was in need of a rest. Saying he was surprised and disappointed to be the latest victim of the rotation policy. Here's Ronaldo, aiming for Van Nistelrooy at that far post. Gix was in there too. A solid resistance by Fulham. I think the manager felt Van Nistelrooy was in danger of burning out. And the Dutchman will be very keen to uh, make his point today. But that isn't the case. Ferguson expects now as a hat trick, he says. This is Green. Now Neville. In the way was Luis Bermorte. Well, not mainly playing with the one right up front in McBride. But plenty of support through Bermorte and Malbrock. That's the plan anyway. Steve Keane was saying beforehand, he got one or two tricks up his sleeve that he didn't use last week because United changed their team. O'Shea with Scholes. Neat ball then lifted it towards Van Nistelrooy. 
Omar, the French international, was tight on him. Here's Keane. Very relieved to hear this week that he can play in the next stage of the Champions League if United get through. He'll miss the game on Tuesday with Porto. But uh, UEFA have decided that one match, a one match ban is sufficient. There was a fence in uh, treading on Victor Bayer, the Porto goalkeeper, last week. And this was that early break for Ronaldo and very nearly then managed to locate either Giggs or Van Nistelrooy in the centre. He's looked bright lately, Ronaldo. Certainly in the last round in the 4 2 win over Manchester City, in which he scored. And Van Nistelrooy got a couple. Lee Clark back after four games out with that Achilles problem. Here's Keane. Offside. It's Van Nistelrooy. Not too much in it. There almost to be in line. Ronaldo. Now Fletcher. He seems to be operating in a more central role than we had envisaged. Wes Brown. Now Nicky Butt anchoring in midfield. It's a very flexible United formation today. This is Ronaldo again tucking in though down the right side. Davis. This is Gobar in tandem with Zap Knight at the back. Certainly got some height there. Zap Knight's around 6'6. And Gobar's no midget. Now Mel Brock. Up comes Voss. The former Arsenal man. This goals was an excellent defensive play there. Just underlining United's appetite for hard work. In harness with their talent. Fletcher. On by Butt. That's a good challenge though. Well, I thought a fair one from Legwetsky. The referee didn't think so. Deciding the Frenchman got it wrong. Not so sure about that. Keane with Philip Neville. It was straight to Zat Knight. Keane in a little robustly then. On McBride. It's a feisty challenge to put it mildly. Yes, Darren Fletcher more or less playing alongside Bart in midfield. And Skulls taking every opportunity to get forward in support of Van Nistelrooy. And Giggs. I always felt United have looked the more balanced side when they've had four across midfield, particularly when Beckham was playing. Beckham on the right, Giggs on the left. That was when they were surely at their most dangerous. Well, Beckham's gone. Ronaldo hasn't quite yet fitted the bill. This is Van Nistelrooy now, though. With a real chance, maybe. No, it was that night. Very quickly across then. My word, he covers some ground to shut the door. John O'Shea. Van Nistelrooy offside. Just playing on the shoulder of the last defender, but he went a fraction too soon then, the Dutchman. But he's keen, he's eager today, and you can see that he was quite clearly in an offside position. 24 goals this season from Van Nistelrooy. Two at the FA Cup, both in the last round. There's McBride. Signed for around £600,000 from Columbus Crew. Back home in America as Luis Sahar's replacement. Neville. And he started pretty well too, McBride. Scored a cracking goal indeed in the last round replay against West Ham when Fulham eventually went through 3-0. But 
but it was a struggle for a long period. The bride's goal of one hit volley provided the catalyst, and they made it through to this quarter final, in which they are so far holding their own. A slightly worrying moment there for Tim Howard, and Brown with a miss kick. All jitters at the back from United. Having their best FA Cup run for five years, and they want to keep it going. That was Fletcher, lovely ball then, into the path of Ronaldo. Van Nistelrooy! Well, in fairness to him, maybe a little off balance, as there was a defensive slip just ahead of him. He seemed to be caught off guard. Great pass in from Fletcher, releasing Ronaldo. There was a missed kick there, and then Van Oosteroy firing wide. Is that Knight who seemed to lose his balance? Down went Volts as well. And suddenly, well, the goalposts were beckoning ahead of Van Oosteroy, but he couldn't hit the target. Now Brock, an escape then for Fulham. Now trying to create something of their own, but it's broken up by John O'Shea. certainly had a few different roles for United in his relatively short career with them, John O'Shea. Here's Barmorte. Now Green advancing. Faced by Ronaldo. Tracking back, Alain Beckham. Sean Davis, a neat and tidy player. As he emphasised there, that was anything but a tidy challenge from Nicky Butt, though, on Luis Bermorte. Bermorte with eight goals this season. Up comes the towering figure of Zat Knight, the England under-21 international defender. And fancy his chances, I would think, against Keenan Brown. Against the right service, that was Sean Davis, and there he was too, that night. Never scored for Fulham. He might have done here. They will be vulnerable in the air, that's for sure. United against the likes of Knight and Brian McBride. And Fulham will be seeking to exploit any weakness back there. Here's Brown. That needs to roy it. And the strength then to hold off Gomar. It's all rather wasted. The other news from Old Trafford, incidentally, that's emerged today is that it would seem the manager has at last settled his differences with two major shareholders over the race force, the uh, saga that's been going on for some time. Rock of Gibraltar. The club have been concerned that the dispute was in danger of splitting United apart, but it seems now the matter may well have been resolved. Volts. Now Mel Brock. This is Lee Clark. Fulham are a passing team. Capable of some very enterprising football as they showed here back in October. But now it's Van Nistelrooy. On to Fletcher. The young Scottish international. Here's Ronaldo. Like a challenge by Green, though, to deny him any further progress. Fletcher. And the promise faded. Davis. Now Volks. Signed from Arsenal earlier in the season. And very much a fixed and out right back. Just too much competition, really, at Highbury for him. Witzki. Well, it was a speculative effort then from Bermorte. And no test for Tim Howard.
Del Monte will be hoping, of course, to be on duty for Portugal in the European Championship finals. Certainly been a danger to Premiership defences this season. Knight. On by Legwinski. Keane in the way. Does read the play so admirably, Roy Keane. But of course, United will miss his drive from midfield. O'Shea. Finding Fletcher a little fortuitously is Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, the idea was there, not the execution, though, with that pass. Still stepping out of the game, remember Cristiano Ronaldo, he's only 19. Plenty of time to develop. And he has such thrilling skill. Barmorte for Fulham. Should be Browns. He's quick. Just has looked a little suspect in the air since coming back into the United team. Phil Neville looking to deliver for Van Nistelrooy. That was Scholes. Then Van Nistelrooy to kicks. They've got three in the box now. With Ronaldo arriving as well as Van Nistelrooy and Scholes. No harm done from Fulham's perspective. Van der Sar has been an excellent last line of defence for them this season. Notably in the first game against West Ham in the last round. And he kept a clean sheet in the first game at Upton Park. And defied the Hammers with some outstanding work. He's on record as saying he's been disappointed by uh, what he sees as Fulham's lack of ambition. And he signed from Juventus, they promised other big names would follow, but that hasn't really been the case. Van der Sar, having been used to winning so many trophies early on in his career with Ajax, has won nothing since. Nothing with Juventus and nothing with Fulham. Dave Besant, alongside Steve Keane there, helping out on the goalkeeping side. Keane, unflappable as ever. Under pressure here from McBride, who's kept it alive too. Here goes Bermorte, what a rash challenge by Brown, and that is a penalty. Well, I was just praising Keane for his coolness at the back, but he lost out to McBride, whose determination paid off, and then Brown sliced down Luis Bermorte. Keane trying to let the ball run out of play, maybe it had gone out. And that was a terrible challenge, really, by Brown. Missed the ball completely, but certainly did not miss Luis Bermorte. What an opportunity here, then, for Fulham. Bermorte is still receiving attention. And Steve Maubronk looking to compose himself here and try to beat Tim Howard in that United goal almost at the midway point in the first half of this FA Cup quarter-final Now Brock scores! and United's bogey team are up and running again a miscalculation by Wes Brown and Steve Malbrock has taken full advantage thumping this home no chance for Howard. Well, he's a real favourite with the Fulham fans, Steve Malbron, even more so now. He may not be too far away from a call-up for the French senior squad, an under-21 international. It's a vital moment for Fulham. They have the lead at Old Trafford. Again. Lee Clark have them in front, I think, after just three minutes in the league game here, back in October. Green's out of position now, Van Nistelrooy hoping to cash in, but back comes Green. Aided that by Davis. 
United have to come from behind. Stunning blow for Sir Alec Ferguson's team to suffer. How quickly can they respond? Here's Nicky Butts. Half-hearted appeals for a penalty, mainly from the crowd, not from the player. Now Brown. How much will that unnerve him, I wonder? Keen. Wasn't the best of clearances then by Howard. But he's managed to locate John O'Shea. It's Scholes now. That really has raised the temperature of this cup tie. It was always going to be quite a tough one for United. It certainly is now. Fulham was six to one to win today. United eleven to four on. Maybe the bookies have got it wrong. Right, Giggs, hoping to prove otherwise. It's Van Nistelrooy. He's back and he's back with a goal. The lead didn't last too long. Just three minutes. Van Nistelrooy, angry at being omitted last week, will feel he's made a point here now. He's made that determined dash into the middle. Defenders aren't close enough to him. And he has lashed it home. A wonderful ball in by Ryan Giggs. Goal number 25 for Ruud van Nistelrooy this season. His third in the FA Cup. And Manchester United are back on level terms. And Fulham's joy is decidedly short-lived. Trafford is really bubbling. Bots for Fulham. We need to regroup now. Just settle things down for a few minutes. Sean Davis. Cross comes Neville on Bermorte. Green. Legwitzki. Now Ronaldo had read that flick then by Moa Morte. Nagwitski again. Moa Morte. And he slipped that just beyond Brian McBride. That needs to Roy stretching. Is Alan Goma. Such a big weakness for Manchester United. Porto coming up in midweek in the Champions League. They have a 2-1 deficit to overturn. And then it's the Manchester derby at the weekend against City. Ferguson believing we will see the best of his team in these three games. Well, that's not quite been the case so far. But at least they're level. Norris Fultz. Now Brock. Now Legwitzki is fellow countryman. This is Fletcher. Looking really hard in that United midfield. Keane. It's too long for Van Dijk to roy it. Bride with Legwitzki. Got a runner down the right too in Volts here. Cross comes O'Shea. Now it's Malbrock. Getting some lifty footwork. Fletcher. Laid off by McBride to Davis. He doesn't score all that often. Keep it down. The young man who is in the thinking of the England coach by all accounts. And of course, a lot of competition for midfield places. Wes Brown, another who will be hoping to be there in Euro 2004. But I think has some work to do now to catch up on those above him in the pecking order. kick to Fulham, who came through against Cheltenham, Everton and West Ham then to reach this stage. A 
had a tough time too against Everton, needing a replay to overcome them. Paul Scholes, who got two in the third round win for United over Aston Villa. Marcus Keane hoping to pick out Van Nistelrooy. Knight had got with him. Now Mel Brock. A little short on the pass though. Telegraphed by Ryan Giggs. He was also left out last weekend, Giggs. And like Van Nistelrooy came on as a sub. But he was saying, well, maybe the manager got it right. Perhaps we did need to freshen up a little. Having said that, Fulham, I can tell you, were mighty pleased at seeing the team sheet when it came in the dressing room. No Van Nistelrooy, no Giggs, no Howard. Not to mention the likes of Neville and Sylvester, who's out injured. And, of course, Rio Ferdinand. to United, 10 times winners of the FA Cup, they've been in 15 finals, hoping now to reach the last four for the 23rd time, that is some record, Roy Keane, ooh, lost his concentration again and I think tripped by Morte, well, he's claiming otherwise, but not a clear trip to me, and it is a yellow card indeed for Keane, seemed to be differing and he was caught by Bermorte and then surely tugged him back I don't think there was any question about it I'm praising him again it's twice now he's let me down Sean Davis taking this kick then for Fulham with half an hour gone ready to aim for but Howard hanging on he's had a marvellous first season Tim Howard it's coming to Old Trafford, displacing Fabian Bartes. Just one or two little lapses lately, but nothing really uh, to dwell on. Malbronk with John O'Shea in very close attendance. Brian McBride. Kicks. Just one goal in his last 12 games. He's looking very vibrant today. It was a wonderful cross that set up the equaliser for Ruud van Nistelrooy. Again, the thought was there. And some uncharacteristic slips by Roy Keane. One in particular, which was really costly leading to that penalty, tucked away by Steve Albronck but United soon replying for Ruud van Nistelrooy the Dutchman with over a hundred goals already for the club Bar Morte he's looked a threat throughout this first half Clark was a little sluggish though now van Nistelrooy Running into a two-man brick wall. And then the ball loose off Nicky Bart to Volts. Malbronk. Here's Davis. A lot is channeled through him for Fulham. Malbronk. Again, Volts giving willing support down that right side. Very keen to get forward but not on the same wavelength as Mel Bronk in the end. Hardly played for Arsenal or Volts, but very much a regular now for Fulham. That needs to roy it. Is there some holding there by Volts? Well, apparently not. And now the referee, Rob Stiles, allowing the advantage. Taken up by Lee Clark. He certainly isn't writing off United in the title race. He remembers the mid-90s when Newcastle, who was playing for all the time, had a 12-point lead over United, and it was wiped out. And Ferguson's team went on to take the championship. <laughs> Phil Neville, another who has underlined his versatility this season. He was 
quite exceptional in midfield but needs must so it's right back for him today Slipped down by the Fulham left back Adam Green Neville Davis to Legwitzki and eagerly closed down then by Darren Fletcher as exuberance has been a feature in midfield not quite the uh, free flow side though that we expect United to be and the way they've been defending even as Relic Ferguson was joking this week we might have a score four or five to make sure we win Long ball in search of Giggs. Fletcher. Now Davis. Well, I'm keen to get the ball down and play. Lewis Barmorte. Bent in towards McBride. But Keane is there. Getting plenty of encouragement from this huge Old Trafford fan uh, crowd. Sell out again, of course. Good strike. Oh, hit the crossbar. From Zach Knight. Well, there really seemed to be no danger at all. As it was flicked up into his path by Malbrock. It was a super effort then from Zach Knight. Howard was beaten. And the crossbar came to his rescue as it bounced off it. Well, he seems determined to score today. Well, a really worrying moment then for United. And it came from nowhere. Van Nistelrooy. Another reminder then to United what this Fulham team are capable of. They've taken five points off them in the league. Ronaldo. Good delivery, but it's behind those incoming forwards. Then Nicky Butt. Showing commendable persistence. It's Ronaldo's cross. Picked on. Van Nistelrooy. Couldn't get his shot away, but Giggs can. And somehow, Fulham survive. Goodness me. Desperate defending back there. Here's Brown now, marauding forward for United. Sending a second goal. Giggs will feel he should have one, really. That was the first ball in by Ronaldo. Flipped on by Giggs. Van Nistelrooy couldn't get it under control. But Giggs had far more time. And it was a wasted opportunity. Strong hustling here by United. The Fulham equally committed. But it was given away a little carelessly by McBride. Van Nistelrooy. Well, we could have had a hat trick already. Fantastic goal scoring record with United. He's got one then today. Could have been more. Good play then by Mel Brock. Here's Wes Brown. Put under pressure. But United's throw. Fletcher. Now it's Neville. As United will pick up sweeping forward again. Fletcher. He's got Ronaldo with him. Still Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe they've now lost a little of that momentum. Roy Keane. And there is an offside flag. Against Neville, I think. Getting tangled up then with Sean Davis. I'm sure that Neville did too much wrong. in the air which may not happen 
too often. There's Davis. Oh, Clark that time. It was Davis, that's right the first time. Ronaldo. Instant control. Now can he stretch Fulham here? Well, he might have done. Up for the foul by Green, who did seem to panic a little. It's painful for Ronaldo. The Can United now inflict further damage. Took a whack from uh, Bob Water as well. One of those trickling feet can embarrass any defender. He does rather tend to over elaborate sometimes, and they've been working on that. Certainly, Van Nistelrooy has been left a frustrated figure in the middle on many occasions. I think they're saying to Ronaldo, you can beat your man once, you don't have to go back and do it again. So here is Ryan Giggs. Again, taking on the responsibility. O'Shea is up from the back. Giggs whipping it in. Oh, how close was that? As Keen dive forward, he almost made contact. It just whistled past the post. And Nistroy wasn't far away either. Maybe if he really stretched there, he would have made contact. Van der Sar, very relieved to see that one go past the far post. And another chance goes a begging for United. Brown with McBride. Here's Nicky Butt looking for that early ball. Van Nistroy. Smarty though by Gomar. And here's Keane mopping up. Receiving McBride. And now the American goalkeeper, Tip Howard. Five minutes of the first half to go. Here is Per Morte. With Davis. And Clark here. through Boa Morte he was causing plenty of concern back there of his pace and his strength and his positive attacking play Mark and Davis in conversation here I think they can come up with a ploy to break United down again they score once they've hit the crossbar there is Sean Davis Half a chance for Legwitzki. Just couldn't put it away. And he had two bites at it then. Okay, United looking uh, rather uncertain back there. And with a better finish, that would have been two for Fulham. Sylvan Legwitzki. He knows what a decent chance that was. yet this season but he's got a few in the past now Brock that's good play then by Scholes as United break very quickly kicks Scholes getting forward now oh a lovely run here by Giggs he kept going superbly but didn't fall kindly for United as Fulham resist Darren Fletcher I don't think Ronaldo will reach that one and so much to admire about the run then from Giggs that was the Ryan Giggs of old mesmerising defenders so keen to take them on and when he's in that kind of mood he's very very hard to stop In the end, nothing on for Van Nistelrooy in the middle. Nudged on by McBride. Here's Bo Morty. Out by Brown. Now 
Carl Brock. Taking on O'Shea. He's got Clark with him, he needs it. And O'Shea getting a foot in. Just hasn't looked quite the uh, secure figure of last season, John O'Shea. Plenty of encouragement for Steve Keane down there on the Fulham bench. Chris Coleman's number two. Former director of the Youth Academy at Fulham. Stepping up since Coleman's appointment as manager. And the departure of Jean Tigonard. He's a Glaswegian. Glaswegian Steve Keane, so he and Alex Ferguson will make themselves understood. Down on the sidelines there. Of course, United have a new number two themselves. Walter Smith has taken on that role this week, the former Rangers and Everton manager. How things for Alex out until the end of the season at least. For those two in charge, there won't be too many breakdowns in discipline, I can tell you. Roy Keane. One more minute will be added on at the end of the first 45 for stoppages. A curious ball then by Keane. And the start beaten just the once by his fellow Dutchman, Ruud van Nistelrooy. As we see confirmation of the time added on. was Knight. Legwitzki with Davis. But in comes Ronaldo. Yes, it's a foul by Fletcher. Clark who took a tumble. Legwitzki. Now Green. Not a bad ball in either, but dealt with by Brown. Barmorte. Pollock striving for some joy here right at the end of the half. Neville made sure it didn't happen. Then Van Nistelrooy losing out. Green. He does get some good balance down the left. But he lost his balance then when he was certainly upended by Neville. Showing too much aggression. It's the last action of the first half, I think. Oh, just time for the yellow card first. Going by Rob Styles to Neville. So the referee's found a few more seconds from somewhere. Knight hoping to cause some havoc again. By Brown, but not very effectively. That is the half time whistle. Well, it was Wes Brown who gave away the penalty. Steve Marbron steering Fulham in front. They promised United a hard game today. Certainly proving to be that. But Morty, who was sent flying. Marbron making no mistake for the penalty kick. But a swift response from Manchester United, who asked Ruud van Nistelrooy back in the starting 11 today, back with a goal. And at half-time, well, it's still anyone's contest, though. Manchester United won, Fulham won, in this FA Cup quarter-final at Old Trafford. <coughs> awarded to an away team in this ground this season. The Van Nistelrooy restoring parity. Louis Bermorte was the man who was brought down by West Brown for that penalty kick. Van Nistelrooy with his ninth FA Cup goal in eight ties. So a relative, already in his relatively short career with United, showing a relish for this competition, which United haven't won since 1999. Fulham hoping to go through at their expense and reach their second semi-final in three seasons. And here's Ronaldo threatening straight away, and they've had some joy down the flanks, United. 
Maybe Fulham's fullbacks getting caught out a little too often. That was the case again here. Look, he's just about onside, I suppose. And Green had to recover quickly. Away by Keane, who a few weeks back was chastising the younger players in the team, saying that they were underachieving. Not really setting the right example today, or indeed with his sending off against Porto. And he trod on their goalkeeper and got himself sent off. Here is Keane now. Named by Pele in FIFA's all time top 100. Well, those still playing anyway, although he's still alive today. Not still playing. Necessarily. Keane's in there, and so is Van Nistelrooy. But Ryan Giggs, surprisingly, left out. This is the ninth FA Cup meeting between these two clubs, and Fulham haven't beaten United since the first game back in 1908. But they'll be pretty satisfied with their afternoon's work so far. Steve Keane taking charge this afternoon in the absence of Chris Coleman. I gather he was on the phone to him during the interval. Coleman in his hospital bed watching the game and having a telephone link with his number two here. And I'm sure there will have been some concern about the success United were having on the flex. Brian McBride, combining well with Boa Morte, trying to step away from Keane, he got it wrong again. Not quite reaching his usual high standard so far, Roy Keane. Boa Morte and McBride giving him and Brown plenty to think about. That night here hit the crossbar in the first half, coming so close to scoring his first ever goal for the club. That was a nice risky hit from Fletcher, that back pass. He's got away with it. Now, Nicky Butt, no longer a fixture in this United team. wouldn't have played today had Keane been in midfield rather than defence. Barter, of course, nearly moved on during the transfer window back in January. There he is now. The referee saying play on. It looked like a trip on Fletcher. But United did have possession. And it's with Fletcher now. Then Cristiano Ronaldo. Fletcher again. Put it on for Ryan Giggs. Good save by Edwin van der Sar. Spread himself superbly there. That is a top-class save. He revealed this week that United did try to sign him at one stage. Certainly were inquiring into the possibility, but they went for Mark Bosnich instead. That was an excellent stop then to defy Ryan Giggs. He will always be remembered for that wonder goal in the semi-final replay back in 99 against Arsenal. Has there ever been a better one in the FA Cup, I wonder? That was a chance then for Lee Clark, it suddenly came his way. The scorer here, remember, so early on in the league meeting in October. And again, an anxious moment for Wes Brown, as McBride made it awkward for him. And then Clark firing wide. Keen on the back foot. Hey, my Gomar. Ronaldo. Wanting one touch too many. 
the retreat was Lewis Bermorte. Valent Phil Neville. Now Brown. Put on to kicks. Well sent quickly. He's maybe rather overcommitted himself now, having to chase back. And you need to worry. Here's Mel Brock. He's had another very effective game today. Fletcher curtailing his run. United so anxious to keep this FA Cup run going. A dangerous thing stand at the moment. And finishing empty-handed at the end of the season for only the third time in the last 14 years. So much success for United under Alec Ferguson, but he says himself, look, one trophy's OK. And that is now perhaps the best opportunity of winning something. Well, I've got a Solskjaer being warmed up there. Perhaps we'll see him pretty soon. He hasn't featured in the senior team, remember, since September. After a serious knee problem. Here's Barmorte. Sending United again. Brown's header to Legwinski. Never afraid to show out goal, this fellow. He had that effort in the first half. Brown. Now Roy Keane. Three times an FA Cup winner. Mark Feeder there alongside Sir Alec Ferguson. And of course Walter Smith, the new number two. Been useful, says Sir Alec, to have a fresh voice on the training ground this week. He's already spotted a few things that might be rectified. Made a few useful points. Very, very experienced manager, of course. Roy Keane, the lieutenant in chief, out on the field. Given away by Davis. Now Fletcher, caught by Boamorte, but unfairly so. Referee deciding the challenge was a little too spiteful. There's an injury uh, for Fulham, I think it might be Davis. Here it is. We don't want to lose him. He's the engine in midfield. Along with Clark. Yes, the boot was a little high then from Neville, who was cautioned in the first half. So riding his luck a little there. Doesn't want to emulate brother Gary, being shown a red card in the season's FA Cup. Ronaldo leaving the throw for Phil Neville. And here's the young Portuguese now, Ronaldo. That Neville to bend it in. It's a good ball as well. A little coat, just about. McBride, a well in Fletcher. And scores for the nifty touch. Fletcher claiming he was manhandled. And I think it's going to be a booking for Volts. He knocked it past him here. Off the ball, really, Fletcher. Well set tumbling by the young German defender. But can United make the most of it? Giggs, Ronaldo, Scholes, all in attendance here. Miss Beckham, no question about that. In this kind of situation, let's see what they can come up with in his absence. 
It's Ronaldo, and it's smacked against the crossbar. And he bent that in beautifully there. Beckham himself would have been proud of that. Only an inch or two away from putting his team in front. Certainly to see Van der Sar. A curl on this. I think the keeper could do. As it swerved past him. Ronaldo scored in the last round. Very close to repeating the trick. Now it's Roy Keane. Hoping United can keep things tight at the back. 15 goals they've let in now in eight games. Very unlike that. Here's Barmorte, who scored against them a week ago. And he outmaneuvered Wes Brown. Couldn't get away from Neville, though. Legwinski. Putting it on to Barmorte. That was Brown. He was found keen, if that was what he intended. Ronaldo. And that was Barmorte sliding in from behind. That may well be a caution for him. Rob Styles standing for no nonsense. So he joins Moritz Waltz in the notebook from Fulham's end. Phil Neville and Roy Keane have been cautioned for United. Headed out by Fletcher, rather lamely, here's Barmorte. Good scrapping though by Fletcher. Looking really tenacious today. But, and it's no reflection on him, or indeed on anyone else playing in midfield, but for my money, they are not quite the same side when Roy Keane is not in that department. So Fulham hanging on in there, hoping incidentally to be the first team to beat United at Old Trafford twice in the same season since Spurs did it back in 1989-90 season. In the league and in the League Cup. Well, this is the FA Cup, it's even Stevens. almost an hour played in this quarter-final. Paul Scholes. was Neville, should be Knight's ball, not many are going to out-jump him. So unlucky with that effort in the first half, ricocheted off the crossbar. The lot so far have given an excellent account of themselves, and are still very much in this contest. Wes Brown, just lumping it forward really, this is Knight. To pull up from non league football. Now it's Bermorte, the former Arsenal and Southampton man. No pressure on Knight. No pressure at all, and he was very careless then, and almost giving it away. And it's Brown. Now then to Keane. Knight cancelling out Van Nistelrooy's threat. That's Foltz. McBride. And here's Steve Albrock for Fulham. United to dominate. Really scrapping for possession. Opposing one or two problems when they come forward too. Clock. It's broken up by Brown. Here's John O'Shea. Now Van Nistelrooy. So Deptford holding it up. Yes, and he was brought down then by Knight.
Paul scores. Spotting the run here of Giggs. So too though of Volts. He did well to cut him out. Keep his concentration then. Oh, did he need to? But here's Ronaldo. Checking this corner for United. That was Davis who headed it away. Up by Nicky Butt to Fletcher. Now it's Neville. Aiming for Wes Brown up there. The Van der Sar is plucking it out of the air. Now Pembridge and Barry Hales being prepared here. Pembridge a midfielder. Hales who plays up top. Fletcher. Another excellent ball by Hector Ronaldo. And look at Van Nistelrooy in the middle if he can find him. And he has. That's the service that he thrives on. He knew exactly where to be. And it was such an accurate ball in. Fletcher involved in the build-up heavily. Such an incisive pass by him. And they've always been dangerous down the flex. Underline here, Ronaldo skipping free. And they again can't get to Van Nistelrooy in time. Just as happened for the first goal. Well, the manager was predicting a hat trick for Van Nistelrooy on his return today. He might just be right. He has two now. And if he feels that's underlining a point, well, then so be it. Sir Alex Ferguson won't mind that. Four attempts at goal. He's scored from two of them. Manchester United are in the driving seat as Barry Hales comes on for Fulham. Pembridge on as well. Ronaldo played in for Neville. And it's a corner to United whose tails are up now. McBride and Nagwitski is the other two players who've been replaced for Fulham. Yet another double for Van Nistelrooy. It's his fifth now in the FA Cup. Remarkable stuff from the Dutch superstar. Ronaldo laid it on for him. Just as Giggs had done from the left with the first goal. Here is Giggs now with the corner. As United look to drive home this advantage, Ronaldo, Van der Sar didn't really make it. Well, I'm clinging on, it's Nicky Butt. Wide to Giggs. No offside, Van Nistelrooy. Confirmation there of the changes. Stopping like for like, really. Pembridge in midfield. Barry Hales now the uh, main target man up front. Here's Knight. Throw says that needs to right. And the referee's assistant concurs with that assessment. Tipped on by Giggs to that needs to Roy. Absolutely deadly in the centre. But then from those positions he wasn't going to miss, was he? Nothing really that Van Assar could do. The cover just was not sufficient. Fully stretched out the flanks again. Hales has been bundled over. Oh, it's a useful man to bring on Barry Hales. He was capable of coming up with something. Got five goals this season. But of course they are missing Louis Sahar. 
Their loss has been very much Manchester United's gain. From the only impression that he's given since switching to Old Trafford. A controversial move. Fulham did not want to sell him. And various points for claiming they've been bullied, really, into parting with him. Here's Fletcher, it's another great ball. Almost anyway. This time, Van der Sar was quickly out to thwart the danger. But the vision of Fletcher, once again, very much to the fore. Cristiano Ronaldo. United now bursting to add to their lead. Fletcher's ball in. Way by Knight to Pembridge. Welsh International. Here's Brown. And Fletcher. Was Giggs challenging? It's time to no avail. Moritz Volz. Put in by Bob Morte. A good sturdy challenge from O'Shea. He needs a few decent games under his belt now, I think, to restore his confidence. He has looked a little low on morale in recent weeks. Davis with Volts. This is Sean Davis now. Volts is going nowhere. John O'Shea. Van Nistelrooy. That skulls knitting in. Bullock with a man down. Volts, I believe. Every Styles letting play go on for the moment. But now Volts can't receive some attention. Took a whack then. Presuming from that challenge with Scholes. Nothing sinister on Scholes' part. Scholes is in trouble for violent conduct in the game against Middlesbrough recently when he was involved in a clash off the ball with the Riva, which the referee, I think Paul Durkin, it was, didn't see. The FA have now charged Scholes with violent conduct and he is seeking a personal hearing. He can be a fiery little character. Getting the better of Hales. Bolts is now back on for Fulham, so they're back to full strength, but trailing in this FA Cup quarter final. They need some inspiration. Bermorte trying to find some. It's O'Shea. The Irish defender standing his ground well. Shunting on Bermorte, it seemed. And the referee didn't think so. And they're up against it now, Fulham. But they've grafted hard here and should not be written off yet. And something happened there as the ball was played away. Clark being told to keep out of it. Referee Styles wants a word with Bell Morte. He's looking considerably bemused by it all. Not me. And only a reprimand. So Scholes clashed earlier with Volts. It was a bit late there, Barmorte. The referee has taken a lenient view. Barmorte already yellow carded earlier. Sean Davis. Scholes run it back very well. 
with real bite to his game. Hills out jumped. Well, they're placed in the last four. Not yet secure, but they are heading in the right direction. Such a marvellous FA Cup team back in the 90s, of course. Barry Hales left aggrieved. Less than 20 minutes to go. United hoping now they have established a grip. Thanks to the double strike yet again from Ruud van Nistelrooy. Ten goals now in eight FA Cup ties. He's got two against Villa, Portsmouth, West Ham, Manchester City and now Fulham. We're trying to get up ahead of steam here. With the clock. But it was a futile journey in the end for him. Malagona Solskjaer. Will he make his entrance soon? He didn't play in the reserves in midweek, and the feeling was that he was uh, being held back for this one. And of course, there's the European tie on Tuesday to think about when United have to turn around that 2-1 defeat in Portugal against Porto it won't be easy but having said that 1-0 would do it forward by Green here's Bo Morte Keane was there first <laughs> curious leap by Ronaldo they're unorthodox not very effective well, Keaton was struggling against Hales Brown nearly tugged him then just managed to keep himself in check and the end no thread on goal Fulham team who've had very little away success really since their triumph here in the league back in October. And their only away success has been in the FA Cup at West Ham in the last round, a 3-0 win in the replay. They've lost the lead here, but they are still battling. Oh, Morte. Cut by Ronaldo. Here comes Phil Neville storming forward. Ronaldo just checked his run then, maybe thought he was offside. And that enabled Gomar to sweep up. As we near the last quarter an hour of this game, Brad Easteroy is he to be the hero for United yet again? Giggs now. Show you, I should say. Kings are tucked inside. And here is the change, is it? I think there's about to be a substitution. A United throw. No, it's just an injury, actually, to uh, Clark. Here is the United change, it's Jemba Jemba, actually who's coming on, in place of Roy Keane. Being spared the last 15 minutes to keep it fresh, I would imagine, for the well, I should say for Tuesday, you can't play in that one of course, but uh, battles to come. Unless there's an injury there. Jemba Jemba who doesn't feature too often. This is the Cameroon International sign from Nantes back in the summer. Yes, the word from the sidelines there is an injury to Roy Keane. Some, some switching around to do tactically. Meantime, it's Skulls. Now Neville. 
is Ronaldo. Now Jemba Jemba. Put it on for Van Nistelrooy. The flag was up. Not a great deal in it. Brown and O'Shea in the middle of the back line now. Giggs dropping back. Neville. Keith taking no further part in the game. Not quite sure what the injury is. I thought it was a little surprising they'd taken him off. Even with the need to use him a little sparingly these days. Volts. Linking with now Bronx, still Volts, then Hales. A little tentative though with his delivery. Look at the space that Ronaldo's got now. The defender's pushing up, trying to catch Van Nistelrooy offside. Now Jemba Jemba joining in. Here's Neville. Darren Fletcher. Outwitted this time. It's Hales. And then Pembridge. Asking a lot, though, of Hales. For all his willingness and endeavour. Alain Gobar. Rolling it on to Volts. Time beginning to run out for Fulham. Not creating too much in truth now. Good jump by Knight. Who has a head start on everyone. Here's Fletcher. Now Scholes. Oh, Neville losing out. But United quick to regain possession. Fletcher. Neatly on then for Phil Neville. And Nistelroy made a charge into the middle. This is Ronaldo. I think for a swing at goal. Bolts just reaching that cross in time. And another goal now would surely see off Fulham's challenge. And he could be the man, Rude van Nistelrooy. Worryingly, there seems to be an injury there. Where's Brown? Good ball. He's found Fletcher. Now Neville and Scholes. United playing the game in Fulham's half here. Can they find a cutting edge? Ronaldo. That was Jemper Jemper in the way. Fulham trying to spring something here on the counter. But Clark wanted too much time. United wouldn't give it to him. Here's Fletcher. And that's a foul by Hales, who is protesting here that he won it cleanly. For my money, he was always struggling. The referee Styles going to side them down. There, no, he played the ball. In fairness to Hales, there was nothing wrong with that. He can count himself very unlucky, especially should United score from this. And Rob Styles sees that one again on the. Uh, Video will be a little embarrassed. Ryan Giggs taking the kick. O'Shea is up from the back to join Van Nistelrooy. Here is Giggs. No real pressure on Bolts. He headed it out. He had more time than he realised. It was Gomar. Firmly and decisively. Tackling Ronaldo. Well, the 
final gamble really Lee Clark is going off and Bobby Petter a Dutchman who had his first premiership start last week is coming on to take his place Petter who's on loan from Celtic arrived on New Year's Eve started against Cheltenham in the FA Cup and was on the sub stretch against Everton and West Ham and he started to return at Upton Park against the Hammers and the offender that was Pembridge and as United look to put this game to bed less than 10 minutes for Fulham to save the tie and deny United their place in the last four Scholes got to have a crack at goal from here. That might well be the case. Touched off by Giggs, two scores. Oh, Malte flung himself in his path. To keep Fulham's hopes alive. certainly has been a majestic United performance but looking more and more as if it might just be enough Ronaldo has had some really bright moments and is now adapting to the English game and the demands of it and I'm sure in years to come he will prove a wonderful signing Jemba Jemba I think United have seen the best of him yet Gomar Jemba Jemba There's some pulling by Sean Davis much to his frustration United just edging their way to victory what I wonder do Fulham have left in the locker Oh, Morte going down on O'Shea. Bodies in the way. Only a corner in the end as Malbrock arrived on the scene. Jemba Jemba. And some very necessary defending. Oh, Morte. Got a ricochet then off the legs of Wes Brown. After Hales had done well initially. Here's Mark Pembridge. Howard stayed on his line and O'Shea forced into conceding the corner fresh hope then for Fulham Bobby Petter St. Davis on that near post United well represented in defence though as Fletcher clears Van der Sar turned sweeper Aiming for Hales, that was Jemba Jemba. In goes Volts. That's United's throw. Don't think he realises it yet. Now he does. Well, it's certainly been an intriguing. FA Cup quarter-final, pictures being beamed to over 40 countries around the world today including many I know in Africa, if you're enjoying this match which isn't over yet well, I'm straining every sinew now to stay in the FA Cup a competition they have never won but at the moment being outmaneuvered by the club who've won it a record 10 times is this to be their year again? Later on, of course, Arsenal are in action. The FA Cup favourites. Way to Portsmouth. Van Nistelrooy. Pembridge stayed strong. Here's Malbron. Just nudged away then by John O'Shea. And Fletcher. 
who I think has enhanced his reputation this afternoon. It's not easy following in the footsteps of the likes of Beckham. Ronaldo and Fletcher both done well. And here's Van Nistelrooy and Van der Sar had to be on his guard again. Steve Malbron. Fulham haven't seen as much of him in the second half as they would have liked. Hales. That was on Shea managing to smuggle it clear, but only as far as Bobby Petter. Corner if it goes, but Howard very quick there to spot the danger. And snuff it out. He has such keen coordination, all hand to eye. He was a top basketball player. That must have something to do with it. Alan Goma. Now Mel Brock. This possessed though by Ryan Giggs in his defensive role. Eric Jemba Jemba. Three minutes left. Plus injury time. Good enough though to beat Edwin van der Sar. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer getting a warm reception here from the United fans. They've certainly missed him. Finally back now after long-term injury. There were problems. He's replacing Ronaldo. Also getting uh, quite a set off from the supporters here. There were complications with his knee injury, which delayed his return. Solskjaer. But so often in the past, he's shown what he can do from the bench. And had he been fit this season, I'm sure would have been really pushing for a place down the right side, where he was often used last season. who rarely misses the target with his shooting. Barry Hales. Now Bell Morte squeezing it on. Oh, Howard stretching out there. And a vital save. Well, it might have sneaked an equaliser there. But for his awareness. Then Hales taking out his frustration. And that learned him a yellow card. A moment of real promise then for Fulham. Linking play well. Belmonte who's always so direct. Well, two players then beyond the keeper for Fulham. And it needed that touch. Reacted really quickly then, Tim Howard. To remind us of his goalkeeping prowess. The 90 minutes are almost up. Tetter. Being hounded by Chamber Chamber, but unfairly. Free kick to Fulham. And they may not have too many chances left now. Sixty-seven thousand people have gone now. As we near stoppage time. The lock ball from Van der Sar. And Tip Howard happy to let that one run out for a goal kick off that night. There will be three more minutes. Can his team yet turn this round? Steve Keane. Sir Alec Ferguson looking pretty relaxed. Easter Roy. 
such a wonderful theatre of football this and there was a suggestion that the capacity might even be increased in the future to 75,000 at some stage and we're filling in the corners of the north stand you can't get tickets for Man United with love no money Jemba Jemba the Negro turn of pace there he might go all the way here well, it was great obstruction by Gomar. Yet another booking. Just through to run then by Jemba Jemba. And Gomar clearly felt he had no option but to bring him down. With 90 seconds or so remaining. United in no real hurry. There's Jemba Jemba. That vaults for Fulham. A rather tired lunch there. Jemba Jemba, much the fresher of the two. Here's Solskjaer. Even fresher still. Nicky Butt. He's given United that solidity in midfield again. As he always does. Solskjaer. He's bound to be a little rusty. Van Nistelrooy. He's been sharp enough. This is Petter now. Got the luck of the bounce off, but. That's Jemba Jemba. Showing such dexterity, too. You would think now that time has run out. A little cameo roll here from Jemba Jemba in the last few minutes. Van Nistelrooy. How do you contain this man? Still Van Nistelrooy. Missed a couple of chances early on, remember, but deadly since with his double strike. Now it scores. Bill Neville. Surely only seconds left. Goals to whip it across, straight up Van der Sar, but it's all over, and Manchester United claim their play.